Well, how about that pop that greets the number one UFC middleweight contender? He has emerged through the gauntlet at 185 pounds, and tonight, that elusive crack at UFC Bill. Just getting here is an accomplishment because the waters are shark infested. Every single time you walk into the octagon, you are challenged at the highest level. So to get here is one thing. It's another thing to become the champion. He feels like tonight is his night to complete the journey, to finish writing his story and walking away with a championship belt. There is a little bit of friction on this matchup, but most people would argue if any athlete is well-equipped to bottle that emotion and realize success on a big stage, it is this number one contender. Those questions give away the answers here. Here he is, folks. You know who he is, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion. This man has run roughshod through one of the deepest divisions in the UFC, and he is showing no signs of slowing down. He ain't slowing down, John. He, he loves the ability to call himself the champ. A smile is on his face every time somebody goes, hey, champ, how you doing? The guy lives for it. He lives for the adulation. He lives for the applause. He lives for the ability to stay in the spotlight. He will fight to defend his title as if his life depended on it. Huge training camp for him. He feels like he has leveled up in a lot of disciplines of mixed martial arts. And man, if he presents an even better version, scary proposition for the challenge. All right, ready to go here at the Big A, the Honda Center in Anaheim. The Duck Pond, both fighters have entered the octagon. Could be one of the more important fights of this or any calendar year or tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce. It's time! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world. It's time! Up -up! Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. Well, it must be a big night if the UFC has descended upon Anaheim, California. Good to have you with us from Honda Center here tonight. We have had so many big championship nights in this building. I remember UFC 214, three title fights on the line. A lot to be contested. When the UFC goes to Anaheim, they make sure they bring big fight cards, three title fights at UFC 214. What history are you gonna make tonight in this arena where so many titles have changed hands? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Nice punch lands over the top. Fight behind a night jab. Buffer gets touched by that leg kick attempt. There it is. Right back on his legs. Oh, straight punch. And they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This will be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Buffer's now switching his stance. Oh, slips 
to avoid the win. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes to go. Back and forth we go. Nice counter shot there. Oh, and he tags it with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Buff. Good jab there by the champion. Nice defense there. Huge block. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, he just can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is managing. He's landed so much force. That is a damaging kick that lands. So a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Sidekick is true. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Nice jab. Buffer gets touched by that kick to the body. Seconds to go here in round one. Buffer's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. 30 seconds to go in the round. Swing and a miss with that punch by Buffer. trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yes, yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Oh, big right hand, yes. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm playing.
closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Buffer going for the leg kick. He does not connect. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, he might be out. Buffer's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity. But these guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. Oh! Oh, nice body shot. This is crazy round of fight. Oh, that's a nice fight. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Buffer going for the head kick. He misses there. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. He's got to go badly now. Ooh. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know... When you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are pleading like this, and the gets back to his feet. Oh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. It only took one, John. I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. <laughs> Buffer's going for the shove here. Ooh, arms in tight. up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Oh. Get the ball here. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nicely done. Buffer gets up and is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC middleweight champion of the world, Bruce Inside Buffer. So how about Bruce Buffer getting the job done here tonight? He had his naysayers coming in, no doubt about it, but those kickboxing chops were on full display here tonight. And Bruce Buffer, at the very least, has set himself up for another big...